Tractors barricading highways, manure dumped at government buildings, tires on fire from France to Brussels to Greece to Portugal. Farmers erupting in protests across the continent. If this faith time is up, think of the farmers. They're rallying for things like better pay and more protection against cheap imports as energy and fertilizer costs spike because of Russia's war in Ukraine. Tensions rising as farmers egg government buildings and police hose down protesters with water cannons. EU leaders addressing the farmers at a summit with sympathy and understanding, though concrete proposals were pretty scarce. And it's not just farmers. Workers in Finland leading massive protests, angry with their government. We are seeing the biggest political strikes and labor demonstrations for a very long time. Businesses shut down and empty airports with more than 500 flights canceled. That's what the country looks like right now as hundreds of thousands strike. So why is it happening here? The big union says Finland's right-wing government is proposing social welfare changes, like cutting benefits and wages for unemployed people by hundreds of euros a month, restricting people's right to strike and making it easier for companies to fire their employees. If the political parties who take turns being in power do the decision making, work life can become quite unsustainable, unpredictable. The Finnish Minister of Employment says the government proposed these changes to improve the economy of the country and boost its employment rate. The reaction is over scale for the changes. That reaction massive, with around 13,000 people taking to central Helsinki for a major rally Thursday. And some schools, restaurants, post offices, stores and more shutting down, leaving the country in a standstill. The head of international affairs for Finland's biggest trade union says frustration with government cuts while prices are rising is a common denominator across Europe. The opposition to different kinds of austerity policies in different European countries in a situation where ordinary people have already seen their real incomes dropping, but we are not giving up. Megan Fitzgerald is joining us now. Megan, thank you for bringing that to us, because the other layer to this is that Finland is in the middle of a presidential election now. You've got the political overlay with EU elections coming up later on this year. Do we think or do experts in the EU think that there could be a political fallout then for these strikes now? Tally, it's a great question. And, and yes, this certainly could have an impact. Uh, these strikes are fueling this narrative that governments across Europe and the EU don't care enough about the issues surrounding these farmers. So uh, when the EU, for example, goes up for election in June, um, the concern is that if it shifts to the right, it could put in jeopardy, for example, their green agenda. Hallie? Megan Fitzgerald, live for us there overseas. Megan, great to see you, as always. Thank you. Coming up here on the show tomorrow. The first primary of the year with President Biden on the ballot. We'll take you live to South Carolina with what some of his backers are saying now. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.